guys, this is so random of me, I feel like, because I haven't vlogged in so long, and I'm iPhone vlogging, so I'm sorry about that. I'm also, I have no makeup on because I'm on my way to a shoot, um, but I haven't vlogged in ages, and I just, I got the urge today to vlog, and I was like, you know what, I need to just get back on YouTube, and I realized, like, I sabotage myself so often with so many things, YouTube being one of them, because I feel like if I can't do it perfectly and plan things out and like have everything be 100% what I want it to be, then I'm just not gonna do it. Um, meanwhile, at the same time, I'm so hypocritical because I preach to everybody like no matter what you do, like just if you can set, if you have a goal, set your mind to it, just do it. You know what I mean? Like the only thing that's stopping you is you. And I realize that the only thing that's stopping me from doing YouTube is me. Like even today, I'm like, I want to vlog, but all I have is my phone. I left my camera at home. So I was like, not going to vlog. But I think I sh still should just because like, even if it's not perfect content, like being a perfectionist sucks sometimes. Cause it's like, even if it's not perfect content, you should, it's like, you can still upload it and people still, like the, those are the ones, those are the videos that I want to watch. The like imperfect vlog style, like really chill day in the life kind of videos. That's like what I love to watch um, from other people. So I'm like, why don't I just make those kinds of videos? And even if some of you guys like don't love those videos right now, you know, maybe it'll attract a new audience that also will, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Um, Anyways, I'm on my way to a shoot in Malibu. Sorry if the lighting is questionable. Um, I'm using my like iPhone uh, GPS like car mount thing to vlog right now. So I, I don't know if it's like if it's looking looking decent or not. But I'm on the freeway, so I don't want to um, like really fiddle with it too much. But anyways, how have you guys been? What the heck is up? I feel like I have not been on YouTube in a hot minute. Not I feel like. I actually haven't uploaded a video. A lot has changed. I went home to Massachusetts. I came back from Massachusetts and I'm in LA now. Um, I've been in LA since the end of September and it's now December 1st. Um, and I'm going home for Christmas again to see my mom on the 16th. I've moved apartments. Uh, a lot of things are happening that I will tell you guys about as soon as I can. Um, but aside from that, you guys have been so supportive and so kind to me about my fitness journey and all of that. And trust me, the next video tomorrow I'm filming, I'm actually doing it. I know I keep saying this. I'm actually doing it. I'm filming my fitness journey tomorrow. Um, I really am because I thought I had a shoot tomorrow and they actually changed it to at-home content. So I'm like, that's dope. Um, now I can just do YouTube tomorrow. So anyways, um, you guys have been asking me so many questions and you all want to know about my fitness journey from start to finish. I mean, I have a fitness journey that's up on my channel. It's not a fitness journey. It's like an updated fitness Q and A. Um, and it's from the beginning of lockdown and I've progressed a lot in my fitness journey since then. And I was able to do it like through quarantine kind of and like through coming back to LA and still having it be half locked down. Um, I am very lucky that my apartment complex now has a private gym that you book out by hour and everything's very safe. It's very sanitary. There's cleaners that come and do it and clean it, excuse me. Um, and my trainer and I work out twice a week in that gym. Otherwise, I just do um, my own little workouts in there as well, like on the, at the times that I book it out. So that's been really helpful because I, I do think it would really suck if I didn't have a gym at all in LA. Like I know a lot of people are struggling because it's not even so much that I need the equipment because there isn't really equipment. There's like a cardio, there's some cardio equipment, um, like rowers and a treadmill and elliptical and then some like free weights and bands, which like I have free weights and bands that I can use in my own apartment. Um, it's not that, it's literally like being in that environment, just being in that room. It's literally a small room. Being in that room for me makes all the difference. I'm like, all right, especially now that you book out an hour and you have to like really kick your own ass within one hour because typically like, you know, 
I would do some cardio for like 30, 40 minutes, and then I would do my workout for like 30 minutes, um, and it would run over an hour, but now you can't do that because somebody else might have the time slot right after you. So, long story short, I think being in the gym really like puts you in that exercise, workout, mindset, fitness, you know? You, you get in there and you're like, fitness, I'm gonna work out. Whereas like in your own apartment, even this morning, like before my shoot, I did like a quick little like, did a little bit of abs, a little bit of like glute kickbacks, um, and a couple push-ups, and I was like, you know, like whatever. But if I had done that in the gym, I would have been like, I worked out. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I don't know if that's good or bad, but I just feel like apartment or like home workouts. Some people love them. I personally just can't. I can't do it. Like I can. I force myself to do it, but it's because I know I'll feel better if I just like get some movement in but at that point I'm like you know what screw this I'm just gonna go for a nice walk with my dog and like if that was the case like I would just I would just go for walks and like hike and stuff because although I hate hiking I know there's some people that like love hiking I hate hiking um personally I'm an indoor workout kind of girl but anyways um yeah that's pretty much what I've been focused on LA just went into like a second not lockdown but it's like a stay at home safer at home order not stay at home order so it's not mandatory that you stay at home you're not like in lockdown but restaurants indoor and outdoor are shot besides takeout and um like there's lower capacity at like stores and things like that and they just are encouraging people to stay at home and not gather and blah 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 um which i totally understand because you know the holidays are coming up and everybody's gonna be gathering um, and people are gonna be traveling and stuff. I myself am traveling, but I'm getting a COVID test before I go. Once I land, like once I get there, um, and obviously upon arrival back, so like just to make sure that everything is safe. Um, but yeah, I totally understand. Um, so point being that there isn't really much for me to do besides like I've been working, I've been decorating my apartment. Guys, freaking apartment shit is a whole big, mountain that I did not know how tough it would be to climb it's freaking a whole Mount Everest for me like first of all because of COVID all shipping times are delayed when it comes to furniture half the things that I wanted like would not even be in stock until the end of January at this point it doesn't seem like such a big deal but like when I first moved in there and it was like the beginning of October and they were saying that like my couch wouldn't be delivered until January I was like frick that so obviously I, I have a couch but um yeah, that's been, I've been doing that. I've been, um, like, cooking meals at home and, like, looking up. I've been so obsessed with Pinterest. Let me know if anybody else is obsessed with Pinterest. Like, I'm freaking on there looking up outfits, recipes, um, home decor inspo, like, everything. Literally everything. It's like Tumblr, but for adults. Well, I guess not really even for adults. Just, like, Tumblr, but modern day. Um, and I loved Tumblr. I was, like, such a person that loved Tumblr. Um, for like the inspo I just like loved I love a good aesthetic love a good little vibe you know um, but yeah anyways that's kind of why I've been able to really progress I feel in my fitness journey recently and really hone in on what works for my body um, I'll go over this in my fitness journey as well, like the actual sit down video. I'll also, like, fair warning, I'm afraid this video is going to be long because I'm just blabbing. I'm afraid that video is going to be 30 to 40 minutes long. So, like, be prepared. Um, but I feel like because I've had more time right now, work right now is good, but it's also different. So, it's allowing me to have a lot more time at home and, um, time to kind of just like make my own schedule work from home not that I don't do that always but like it's especially right now with COVID um so I've been able to really reflect and look back on what works and what doesn't and I'm the kind of person that like I've tried a million things like I always will look at something and be like oh yeah that seems amazing like let me try that even if what I'm doing is pretty much working for me I'll still be like nah let me just try this um, just because I'm like so intrigued. That's why I understand why people fall into fad diets or like they follow like celebrity diets or they like do all of those like 
challenges here on YouTube, I genuinely find it so interesting and so, I, I'm so curious about like what our bodies are capable of and what works and why certain things work for people. I'm constantly researching. My trainer always laughs at me. She's like, you're pretty much a trainer. And it's not so much because I'm like, so I'm, I'm not like, oh my God, I have to change my body. Like, it's not about that. It's literally because I find it so fascinating and I love learning. So yeah, I'm driving through Malibu right now. Or I'm driving through the canyon to get to Malibu right now. Um, I have a quick shoot today. Um, it's for a friend of mine's swimsuit company. Well, it's a friend of mine is the photographer and she asked me to shoot for um, a swim client that she has. And so I was like, yeah, well, why not? Yeah, Guys, we just got to our shoot location. I'm not wearing a mask because I have makeup on, um, but the rest of the crew is obviously wearing one. But. Just wrapped the shoot back in the car. Such great vibes today. Such a quick, easy shoot. Um, and I'm just about to call my mother agent and talk to her about one little thing. Um, but I'm freaking so hungry. I'm literally, I'm debating. I should just go home and make food. I have food at home that I need to cook and it's gonna go bad. So I'm like, I should just go home, make something, um, and not stop at In-N-Out. But I'm like really hungry. Um, but it's okay. I do have like a little, a shake and a juice that I can drink for now that's like, gonna hold me over at least um and then i'll be able to come home and actually eat my real my real dinner um but today went so well i'm so excited and i'm happy to be vlogging oh my god the lighting is so sus right now guys sorry about that um but yeah i'm gonna head home because i have another hour drive back in malibu traffic so love that for me also, guys, you need to invest in one of these Yeti cups. This is hot coffee from before my shoot at 11.30 a.m. It is now 4 p.m. This shit is still hot. Hey guys, I'm home. I'm eating chocolate chips. I'm in my pajamas and I'm just doing computer work. Um, I had some dinner and I have just been relaxing because honestly, I'm pretty tired. I had a really nice hot shower, which felt so good after like having Fenty body lava, like that glow stuff all over your body. It's so sticky, um, but I had such a good day at work. I'm going to um go grocery shopping tomorrow and film my fitness journey for you guys so i'll do a grocery haul tomorrow and i think me and tammy are gonna do bluestone lane um for like brunch so and i'll do a workout tomorrow so i can show you guys what i do for my workout um but it's 7 30 and it feels like it's 10 30 probably be asleep by like nine i have to take pants on one last walk before bed guys i freaking forgot my camera and we just walked to Bluestone Lane. I have a million things in my hands and the dog. Um, it's gonna be really difficult for me to vlog with my mask on. So it's kind of for the best that I forgot my camera, but I'll show you guys what I got when we get home. My mask keeps falling, but I got a matcha and it's about a mile and a half walk. Um, there are no people around, so, oh my God. Crap. So here's what we got from Bluestone. I got um, this huge salad and I added chicken to it. And then I also got a side of broccoli. Um, and then I got a matcha as well. And I think I'm gonna have this for lunch. I don't know if this will go bad. Maybe I'll have a couple pieces of chicken, um, but I kind of want something like breakfasty right now. So we'll see. Ignore my ratchet pan. Some of my egg whites stuck, but I am currently making, this does not look pretty, but she's gonna be, be delicious. She ain't beautiful, but she loyal. I'm currently making a breakfast burrito. We have some eggs under here, two eggs, um, one egg white, and I have a piece of thin cut cheese on this spinach wrap. And then I'm gonna add um, an avocado on the side or maybe even inside and some salsa. 
you guys notice a difference in the quality i'm back on my camera i have my computer and panty and i just finished my um video for today so what i'm gonna do now is chill here for like an hour and maybe less um and do some work get rid of the footage that's on my phone and on this camera put it on my not get rid of it but put it on my computer maybe start editing um respond to some emails and then go grocery shopping because i have zero groceries so yeah it's got so many packages in and one of them was this adorable purse i'm obsessed this is a balenciaga obviously um it's just like a little blue one and i got it from the vintage bar i'm literally obsessed with it it's obviously empty sorry my dog is squeaking his toy um but this will look so cute when it's full um this is my little outfit panty he always does this thing where like if he drops his toy, he refuses to go down the stairs. He will literally just like stare at his toy and wait for someone to pick it up. Like, bro, get it yourself. I'm, I'm trying to talk about my purse here. No, but seriously, um, I love this. This is so freaking cute. Um, I've been wanting, I used to have a big Balenciaga city, but I've been loving the minis in like little fun colors. So I love this. Guys, look at this part. We've got spirulina. Healthy Pop-Tarts, Mrs. Dash, yogurt, egg whites. I know they're not the best, but I got some melon. This is PB Fit down here. Um, veggie noodles, seltzer, all kinds of veggies. I ran out of all healthy food at my apartment. I only had the junk food, so I was like, I need to re-up. I also got Starbucks cold brew. These enlightened, I think these are like light ice cream bars. Yeah, something like Greek yogurt bars or something. And then these true fruit, just chocolate covered raspberries for dessert. I'm also gonna pick up this Blue Moose Organic Original Hummus. Looks really good. Okay guys, so I pretty much just finished my grocery shopping. I only had to go to pavilions. I didn't even end up having to go to Whole Foods. But I'm just gonna have a snack. I'm having one of these super coffees. Um, it has like, uh, I think MCT or something like that in it, but it's hazelnut flavor and it's kind of like a protein, uh, 10 grams of protein little coffee drink. And then I'm also having one of these little kind bars um, just to hold me over until I get home because I'm pretty freaking hungry. I had that salad for lunch, but I'm hungry already. Um, it's three something. So I'm pretty much going to wrap up the vlog here. I feel like this video has been long enough, um, but I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.